All right, and slate. And action. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is Joe. <laughs> It was then the car pulled into the driveway. Jack watched from the second story window as several people in black robes stepped into the driveway. He was dumbfounded as to how they had found him. His mother's warning echoed in his head, in the very same way as the mysterious leader's voice at the Fells had. This led to an epiphany, that the voice of the Fells was that of his mother. Scan complete. Designate Agent G. The chances you were too scared to take, and at the end of it all, after every decision I made in my life, all I have to show for it is discovering true, incurable, overwhelming loneliness. They raped me, I guess. Is that what you want to hear? Is that what you want to hear? What's going on, people? This is Evan L. G. Francis, a.k.a. Mr. Go to Work, and today, weights reloaded. Let's get it. Hey, man, I've been out on the street for the last few days, and I'm just looking for something to eat. I mean, like, anything you got, like, or maybe a dollar, a nickel, 50 cents, you know, yen, euros, I don't care, man. Anything, you know, help me out, you know, get a place to stay tonight, maybe some food, a beer, or something. It would be nice. Yeah. Was I losing my mind? It wasn't possible that this thing could be speaking to me. Maybe staying out all night had driven me insane. Maybe I had succumbed to hypothermia, and these were the last minutes before my death. His voice rocked me out of my existential crisis, and back to my perceived reality. And why are you here, Sarah? Sarah. I remember when things were simple. When it was just the two of us. You and me against the world. You held me and told me I was special. How many people could say they really fell in love with their first Valentine ever? I love you. You know the other girls meant nothing to me. As long as I had you to come home to, why look anywhere else? After a minute or so of that, I could hear a bottle knock over. An invisible hand lifted something off the table. Then I finally heard the unmistakable noise of someone cocking a trigger. This was my grandfather's suicide note. <laughs> 